good morning everyone today is our second session related to spring boot and microservices in the last session we discussed that who should learn this spring boot and microservices course as discussed boot and microservices is very very important for every java developer irrespective of your experience whether you are a fresher or you are a experienced person you have to learn this boot and microservices the reason in, in the industry each and every java project nowadays getting developed by using spring boot and microservices only and some old projects which are developed by using some old technologies like servlet ejb jsf those projects also getting migrated into boot and microservices so if you don't know boot and microservices there is no future in the it for the java developers next one what are the prerequisites in order to attend this boot and microservices as discussed you should know core java advanced java mvc architecture and sql queries any database either oracle or mysql is fine and basic knowledge on web development is also required if you learn these technologies then you are eligible to attend this boot and microservices course and what we are going to learn as part of this boot and microservices course content so this course content is divided into 10 modules guys the first module spring introduction we are going to learn because whatever the boot that we are going to learn that boot is developed based on the spring framework only boot is extension for the spring framework so first we need to understand some fundamental concepts available in the spring what are the modules available what is the architecture of the spring then we can understand boot concepts so first module is the spring basics we are going to learn so i can mention here spring basics then next one spring core module core module is base module for the spring framework if you want to learn anything in the spring or if you want to learn any module that is available in the spring then you need to go for spring core module in the core module the fundamental concepts available like ioc container dependency injection auto wiring bean scopes and bean life cycle once these concepts are done then we are good with the spring not spring boot once we learn the spring core concepts then we will start with the spring boot can you tell me what is the spring boot can you tell me what is spring boot okay boot is a java based framework which is used for rapid application development what is the meaning of rapid application development quickly easily we can develop our applications by using spring boot spring boot is the extension for existing spring framework spring framework came into market in the year of 2003 but spring boot came into market in the year of 2014 and 15 right so almost they have taken 10 years of time to release the spring boot the rest is a history nowadays every project is developing by using boot only but what is the base for the spring boot spring only what is the base for the spring java by using java spring framework is developed by using that spring framework spring boot is developed by using spring boot we are developing our microservices applications got it fine after spring boot we will learn about data jpa which is used for persistence layer development earlier people used to develop persistence layer by using jdbc okay can you tell me what is jdbc java database connectivity if one java application wants to communicate with the database then people will use jdbc later point of time as a extension for jdbc hibernate came into picture after that spring orm came into picture after that spring data came into picture currently in the industry people are using spring data to develop persistence layer what is the meaning of persistence layer the logic come on i want your response what is persistence layer the logic which is responsible 
to communicate with the database that is called persistence layer which technology we are using nowadays to develop that persistence layer spring data jpa we are using to develop persistence layer okay next one spring web mvc what is spring web mvc come on guys web mvc is one module in the spring framework web mvc is a module in the spring framework what we are going to do by using this web mvc module by using this web mvc module we are going to develop web applications web application nothing but web application nothing but customers can access our application directly any application which is accessed by the customers directly is called as a web application earlier people used to develop the web application by using servlets and jsp nowadays people are using spring web mvc to develop the web application okay then next one spring rest is available what is this spring rest what is this spring rest spring rest is used to develop distributed application what is a distributed application if one application communicating with another application then it is called as a distributed application which are also called as web services in the market people will call them as web services or people will call them as rest api getting my point right web services or rest apis will be available next one why we need to go for these rest apis why we need to develop the distributed applications guys why we need to develop the distributed applications if one application want to communicate with the another application then we are going to use this distributed application irctc can book the train ticket by using make my trip also you can book the train ticket google by using net banking you can transfer the money by using google pay phone pay paytm also you can transfer the money so one application will communicate with the another application to reuse business services whatever the logic i have developed if you want same logic in your project you no need to develop once again you can communicate with my application you can reuse the same logic that's why we are going to develop distributed applications then next one spring security spring security is one module which is used to implement authentication and authorization in the project what is the meaning of authentication and authorization who can access our application what they can access in our application will be configured by using this spring security then microservices before microservices people developed projects by using monolithic architecture can you tell me what is monolithic architecture what is monolithic architecture guys if you develop everything in one single application that is called as a monolithic architecture that is outdated in the market people are going for microservices architecture what is the meaning of microservices architecture we will develop small small apis in the application instead of developing everything in one application we will divide our application into multiple rest apis that is called microservices maintenance will be easy and deployment will be easy independently we can develop we can test we can deliver microservices the current trend in the market is microservices development microservices not only for java it is universal design pattern dot net developers also will develop microservices python people also will develop microservices as a java developer we are also going to develop microservices to develop these microservices we are using spring boot spring boot is very famous in the market because it is used for rapid application development by using this spring boot easily we can develop microservices required for our application then after we are going to learn about spring batch what is spring batch bulk operation what is the meaning of a bulk operation what is the meaning of a bulk operation sending the salary to all the employees at a time 
sending the messages to all the customers at a time, sending the email to all the customers at a time, sending the postpaid bill to all the customers at a time. So such kind of operations are called bulk operations. To perform such kind of bulk operations, we are going to use a concept called Spring Batch. Good. Next one, as a Java Spring Boot developer, only Spring Boot knowledge is not sufficient to work in the project. Along with the Spring Boot and microservices, some tools knowledge is also required. In our daily life as a developer, we will be working with several tools like Git, Maven, Docker, Jenkins, Postman, Swagger, Kafka, Redis, etc. So some important tools that we are going to learn as part of our 10th module in the course. Good. So this is the course content. So this is the high level content that I have given. The detailed content you can download from our website. Yesterday I have shown you how to download the course content from our website. If you go to courses offering in our website, there is a menu courses offering. In that courses offering, Java full stack is available. In that Spring Boot microservice is available. If you click on this Spring Boot microservice, there is a button available view details. If you click on this, download course content option is there. When you click on this option, the complete PDF document will be available. In detail, each and everything that we are going to learn as part of our course is available. You can download this copy. Okay, good. And we discussed about the course information also. Who is your trainer? What is the course code? Timings of this course. Okay, and classroom training and online training will be available. Daily class notes will be provided with soft copy. As I have shown you yesterday, for every module, the document is already available in the notepad. I will convert into one PDF document and I will share it module wise. So for core Java and advanced Java, we are giving the hard copies books available. But for the Spring Boot, I'm not giving the hard copy book. The reason is for every 15 days, Spring Boot version is changing. Okay, so 20 days back, I have explained Spring Security for my 7.30 a.m. batch. So today, that Spring Security configuration is not working because Spring Boot new version released into market. In a month, one or two new versions are coming into market from the Spring Boot. So whatever the configuration which is working in one version, same thing is not working in the another version. So there is no use of preparing hard copy material for the Spring Boot. So that's the reason we are giving soft copy notes for the Spring Boot. When there is a version change, the concept is going to change. I mean to say the mainly the configuration is going to change in the Spring Boot. So that's why fixed material we are not giving for the Spring Boot. Batch to batch, the material topics and the configuration is going to be different. You got my point? Good. So soft copy material I'm going to provide for that. And Monday to Saturday, our regular classes will be available. Daily one and a half hour class will be there. If required, sometimes Sundays also we will conduct the classes. If we feel course is not completing on time. So as we expected three to four months of time, if it is getting delayed, then I will take some extra class on Sunday also. I will give the information two days before if Sunday class is available. Good. Next one. Fine. So with this, I hope we got the clarity about our course. What is our course? Who can learn prerequisites? course content, duration, timings, notes, videos, and fee structure as well. Perfect. Let's start with discussion now. Guys, if you want to get a Java developer, if you want to get into the Java developer job, what are the things that are required? First one, one programming language is required. If you want to get the Java developer, so how we need to prepare our roadmap to become a Java developer. One programming knowledge is required to become a developer. So that programming language we are using as Java in Amirpet we are calling this as a core Java. Okay. So core Java it is called as one programming language. What is the meaning of a programming language guys? What is a programming language? The every programming language will contain some syntaxes. 
So you need to write a program like this. A class should be available. Method should be available. Object should be created. These are the rules we need to follow. These are the syntaxes we need to follow. By using this Java, we can develop standalone applications. What type of projects we can develop by using Java? Standalone applications we can develop by using Java. What is there in the Java? Java is a programming language which contains some rules, which contains some syntaxes available. By using this Java language, by using Java language, by following Java rules, by following Java syntaxes, we can develop one standalone application. For example, we are using Eclipse IDE. Eclipse IDE is one standalone application. Notepad, one standalone application. Calculator will be available, which is one standalone application. So programming language nothing but which will contain some rules which will contain some syntaxes by following those rules by following those syntaxes we can develop one application the application that you can develop by using that java or core java is called as a standalone application what is the meaning of standalone application that can be accessed only in one computer standalone application means we can access that application only in one computer. Example, in my system, Eclipse IDE is available. I have downloaded, I have installed, I can use it. If you want Eclipse, again, you need to download, you need to install in your system. So standalone applications are specific to one machine, guys. They can run in one machine. If second person want, they need to download that software in their machine. Such a kind of applications are called standalone applications. To develop that standalone application, we are going to use our core Java. In this core Java or Java, they provided JDK plus JRE plus JVM. These are three softwares available in the Java. JDK available as a development kit, compilers, profiler, some tools available in the JDK to develop our programs. JRE will provide a platform runtime environment to run our application. Inside that JRE, JVM is available for running our application to convert that bytecode into machine code, allocate the memory, deallocate the memory. All that program execution part will be taken care by JVM. So all this JDK, JRE, JVM rules, syntaxes are part of our Java programming language. If you learn this Java programming language, you can develop only standalone application. Now, later point of time, by using this Java programming language, we got some Java technologies into market. Initially, Sun Microsystem developed Java programming language. They have given JDK, they have given JRE, they have given JVM. And they have given some rules. They have given some syntaxes also. By using all that package, by using all that package, when I say package, JDK, JRE, JVM, Java rules, Java syntaxes. By using all those things, we can develop a project. That project is called as a standalone project. How many users can access a standalone project at a time? Only one user can access that project at a time. Then later point of time, some Java technologies came into market. These Java technologies, we can say the first one is JDBC. The second one is Servlets. The third one is JSP. These are called as technologies available in the Java. These are called as Java technologies. Initially, Java language is available. By using that Java language, they developed some Java technologies to develop Java applications, right? By using this JDBC technology, we can do database connectivity, okay? My Java application can communicate with the database by using this JDBC, right? Now, JDBC is one technology in the Java which is developed by using Java language only. By using Java language, Java technology is developed. 
by using this jdbc technology our java application can communicate with the database software are you guys clear with my point right and after that sun microsystem provided serverless technology which is used to develop web applications earlier we can develop only stand alone application by using java later point of time serverless technology came into market this serverless is also the serverless technology is also developed by using java language only first programming language came into market by using that programming language they developed some technologies by using those technologies we can develop our applications so by using this serverless technology we can develop web application now by using this jsp we can separate jsp is also one java technology which is used to separate our business logic and view logic that means presentation logic so earlier inside the serverless only business logic will be available presentation logic also will be available so if you integrate that business logic and presentation logic the the project maintenance will become difficult so that's why to separate that business logic and presentation logic sun microsystem introduced a concept called jsp so this jdbc serverless jsp technologies are developed by using java language only in amirpet these technologies are called as advanced java but in the high tech city there is no concept called core java and advanced java in the amirpet only this terminology is available in the high tech city people will call this one as jse okay and this one they will be called as jwe jse and jwe terminology will be available when you are uploading your resume in the naukari also don't keep core java and advanced java the reason is in the company who will search for the profiles in the naukari do you think that project manager will go and search core java profile advanced java profile who will search for our profiles in the naukari hr hr means non technical person hr knows java hr knows what is core java what is advanced java no what hr people will do they will go to naukari database they will search java resumes j2e resumes spring boot resumes like that if you keep core java advanced java as your key skill in the naukari your resume will not come in the search results so that's the reason we should not use that terminology going forward we need to use java j2e when you are uploading your resume in the naukari you need to keep the title as java j2e developer so then hr will use that keyword to search for the resumes in the naukari keep that point in your mind right so what is the difference between programming language and technology guys what is a programming language here which will provide the basic syntaxes and rules to develop small small applications so here we are from java background we are using java language to develop the application inside the java jdk available jre available and jvm is available next one by using this java language they developed some java technologies jdbc technology serverless technology and jsp technology is available so what is the purpose of last row do you want to go out then why are you here what is the reason for coming the class i'm also having two mobiles can i use in the class i'm also having two mobiles you are using your mobile in the class if i use my mobile in the class what will happen come on what will happen if i use my mobile in the class during the class i want answer can you sit in the class if i am using mobile for every 10 minutes in the class will it be interesting no i am giving you my 100% effort to deliver the subject i am expecting same thing from you also if you give me good environment then i will give you good subject if you are using mobile in the class my brain will be disturbed 
I'm not butifying anything before coming to the class, guys. So I'm teaching my experience here. Whatever I'm doing in my company, same thing I'm teaching. For that, I need to have peace of mind. I need to think and I need to frame the sentence and I need to explain and I need to type it. For this, lot of peace of mind is required. If you disturb, if you do some nonsense in the class, using mobile, sleeping, talking to other person, then I can't focus on the subject. I can't focus on my brain to recollect the content I need to explain in the class. So I need a proper environment, then you will get proper subject. If you are not interested to sit, door is open. You can leave at any point of time. I am not looking for strength in the class. I am looking for quality. If you are not interested to continue, you can get out from the class. Nobody will stop you. Okay, it's not a school. Once you enter, we will close the door. No, this is a professional course. If you are really interested, then only sit. If you are not interested, you can leave. If you are in the class, you need to focus on the session only. Don't use your mobiles. Don't open notebook. Don't open any laptop. You just listen to the session. Understand that. Okay, whatever I am typing, I will share this document also. You don't need to write anything when the class is going on. You can't do multitasking in the class. Got my point? Good. Now, so we are trying to understand what is the difference between a programming language and a technology. What is a programming language? It will provide syntaxes to develop the standalone applications. By using this programming language, some technologies came into market. JDBC technology, Servlets technology, JSP technology is available. By using these technologies, we can develop web applications with database connectivity. So what is web application? Multiple users can access same application at a time. Gmail, you can log in, I can log in. Facebook, you can access, I can access. So IRCTC, you can book the ticket, I can book the ticket. Swiggy, all these applications are web applications. Multiple users can access these web applications at a time. To develop such a kind of web applications by using Java, Sun Microsystem provided servlets and JSP technologies. Are you clear? Now, at that time, in the year of 1990s, in the year of 1990s, 1995, 96, 7, up to 2000, 2002, people are using, people were using these technologies only to develop applications. So from 1995, 2000, in those period, the demand for web applications got increased. Slowly, internet becoming famous at that time, people started developing software projects that too web applications people started developing after few years people realized that by using this jdbc servlet and jsp we are developing a web application that is fine but we are writing lot of code to develop these applications for example assume that i am developing one application in one company I am developing one application in one company. Here, one more company is also developing one application. Like this, there are so many companies available who are developing the application. In this application, we need to write JDBC logic. When I say JDBC logic, load the driver, okay? Get the connection, then create a statement, then execute a query, process result set, process result set, then close connection. So if I want to communicate with the database in my application, that JDBC logic is required. That JDBC logic is only for my application. It is common for every Java application. It is common for every Java application. So that JDBC logic will be available in the application one that JDBC logic will be available in the application too also. Then in my application, I am writing the logic to capture form data, requested.get parameter, login page is available. I want to capture form data. 
and I want to validate form data. Okay, map the data to Java object. Map data to Java object. So these logics also common logics are these are specific to only my project. These are also common logics. If you are developing web application, you are developing web application. I am developing web application. They are also developing web application. In every web application, we need to write the servlet to capture form data. We need to write the logic to validate the data is correct or not. We need to map that data to Java object. And in our application, we need to write the logic to save record method to save the record. You need to write a method to save record. You need to write a method to update the record, retrieve record, delete the record. So in your application, you need to write the logic to perform all the CRUD operations in the database. CRUD operations with the database specific to particular project are common for all the projects. Common for all like this, people started comparing. So people started comparing. Today, I have developed one screen in my project. I captured form data by using request.get parameter. I mapped that data to one DTO object. I inserted that data into database table by using JDBC. When I asked my friend, he also told the same thing. I developed one screen in my project. I captured form data. I validated that data. I stored it into one DTO object. I inserted into database by writing JDBC logic. When I ask a third person, they are also telling the same thing. Today, I also done the same thing in my project. I captured form data, map it to object, inserted into database by writing a insert query. So that means by end of the day, what is happening in the industry? Everybody doing the same thing on daily basis. Everybody doing the same thing on daily basis. That is called boilerplate code. I am writing the JDBC logic to insert the record into table with the five steps. You are also writing the same JDBC logic with the five steps to insert the record. Everybody is writing the same five lines of code in the project to insert the record. So that means every Java developer writing some duplicate code every day to perform development in the project. So people realized that. So we are wasting lot of time for writing the same code again and again in the project. So then people identified there are some problems with these technologies. People identified that there are earlier, first time when this technology came into market, people felt very happy. By using Java, we can develop a web application. So by using simple example, man, in the childhood, when you are a kid at around four years or five years, what you will feel? Or if we have cycle, then we can roam on our streets. Once you get 18 years, 20 years, will you satisfy with that cycle? You will feel that array if we have bike, that is good. Once you get married, then we need car. So based on your age factor, your requirements are changing. Based on age factor, requirements are changing. Initially, when only Java is available, people thought that how to develop web application by using Java. We need some technology to develop a web application by using Java. Then Sun Microsystem came up with a servlet and JSP. People used that servlet JSP for four or five years to develop web application. Then after five years, people felt bored with the servlets. They are looking for some other technology to develop application easily. Okay, so by using servlet JSP, we can develop the project. So many people developing the projects by using Sarlet JSP at that time. But after five years, what people realize? Everybody writing the same logic in every project. It is taking a lot of time to complete the project. So we need to write some boilerplate code or we need to write some duplicate code in every project to develop that application. That's why to overcome the problems with these Java technologies, we got Java frameworks in the market. So earlier, Java language is available. By using language, we can develop 
only standalone application by using that language some technologies developed by using those technologies we can develop web application what is the problem with the tech what is the problem with the language language cannot be used to develop a web application language is used to develop only standalone application so to develop a web application technology came into market those technologies are developed based on the language only by using that java only jdbc developed by using java only servlets developed jsp developed by using these three technologies we can develop web application but what is the problem with these three technologies boiler plate code duplicate code we need to write in every project i will write the logic to insert the record five steps available load the driver get connection create statement execute query process the result set close the connection you will also write the same thing she will also write the same thing so we are we are wasting lot of time as a developer by writing the same code again and again so to overcome this problem in the industry some companies introduced a concept called frameworks concept they introduced a concept called frameworks concept so framework is like a maggi you know maggi what is maggi ready made product it is a ready made product so if you want to have a breakfast suppose for example you want to eat idli in your house how much time it will take you need to do lot of things to prepare idli in your house if you want to eat maggi do minute two minutes maggi you can prepare maggi in two minutes of time why we can prepare maggi in two minutes of time ready made product everything is already packed everything is already available in the packet you just to take that packet give the finishing touch your breakfast is ready framework is also like that in the framework everything is already available framework is nothing but a semi developed software whatever the logic is required for every application database connections interacting with the database capturing the form data validate the form data insert the record into table delete the record from the table whatever so in general guys in every application two types of logics will be available one is called common logics second one is called business logics so if you go for a project okay what is the common logic in the project guys db operations are common okay forms data capture is common validations are common validations are common okay so in every project database operations are common in every project capturing the form data is common validating the form data is common if it is banking application or healthcare application or retail application these logics are not going to change for every project business logic will be different some projects are related some projects are related to banking some projects are related to telecom some projects are related to healthcare so in the banking application bank related logic will be available deposit money withdraw money loan application credit card debit card net banking so these kind of logics will be available in the bank that amount related operations deposit withdraw statement balance check pin update these are called bank related business operations okay when you go for a telecom industry sim card operations will be available tower network tower will be available postpaid bill prepaid bill recharges data plan isd roaming charges that kind of operations will be available when you go for healthcare patient will be available doctor will be available laboratory will be available op will be available right so such kind of medicine will be available such kind of operations will be there in the healthcare so project to project business operations will be different bank application will have some logics telecom application will have some logic healthcare application will have some logic but for all these applications validations are common forms are common capturing form data is common communicating with the database is common so in every project some common logics will be available some business logics also will be available okay if you go for java technologies to develop a project 
programmer is responsible to take care of common logics plus business logics also which will take lot of time to develop the project are you getting my point so if you develop a project by using java technology jdbc servlet jsp what is the problem you need to write common logics in the project you need to write business logic also in the project that means you need to spend more time to write more code if you write more code more bugs will come yes or no if i write 10 lines of code if i write 100 lines of code where more bugs will be available 100 lines of code more bugs will be available more time is required for testing more effort is required to complete that project so this is problem with java technology if you can develop a project by using java technology but the problem you need to take care of common logic plus business logic also in your application development now to save our time to reduce burden for the developers in the industry people are using frameworks to develop the project sir why we need to go for the frameworks if you go for the framework you forget about this common logic framework will give you common logic for your application you focus only on the business logic required for your application are you guys getting my point what is the problem with the programming language guys i want your response and listen to me we are some people are from full stack you already know me some people are new to spring boot for every question i want your answer when i am asking something i am expecting your response it's not a movie theater i will be talking dancing singing you will be listening no it should be interactive for my questions i want your answer also okay guys good niche tistal ka banda hai he should tell me sir lot of noise is coming from your class then only class is happening otherwise class is not happening yes or no from whom i will take the feedback chai wala he will tell sir today your class happened that means people are responding to my questions so tell me what is the problem with the programming language programming language will give you only syntaxes to develop stand alone application how to develop a web application now by using technology what is a technology technology developed based on the language only in the java what are the technologies available jdbc servlet and jsp what is the problem with those technologies in the java ah uh, if you you can develop a project by using technology also the problem common logics you have to write and business logics also you need to write what is the meaning of common logic for every project same code is required database operation insert the record update delete retrieve common if you go for banking application insertion process is same if you go for healthcare also delete process is same if you go for banking healthcare or telecom also same code will be available so the common logics nothing but the same code will be available in all the projects that is called boiler plate code what about business logic specific to the project banking application will have its own business telecom will have its own business healthcare will have its own business so in a software project two types of logics will be available one is called common logic second one is called business logic if you develop a project by using java technologies you need to write both in the project you need to write common logic you need to write business logic also in the project what 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 is the problem if you write both in the project more time it will take more time to write the code and we will get more errors also that is the reason what people are doing in the market people are going for people are going for java frameworks so what is a framework 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 is a semi developed software framework is a semi developed software frameworks will provide frameworks provides some 
common logics required for application development okay so if you take 10 20 projects what are the common logics for these 10 projects will be given by frame framework is a semi developed software frameworks provides some common logics required for application development so if you develop your project by using framework you need to focus only on the business logic because common logic <coughs> if you are developing a project by using framework framework will give you common logic you focus only on the business logic development so what is the benefit with the framework now what is the benefit with the framework now ah ready made code will be available for reusing whatever the code we need to develop for our application somebody will give that code for us we will reuse their logic for common operations and we will develop some logic for business operation common logic plus business logic is equal to our application earlier in the 1995 2000 developers used to write both common logics and business logics in the project today in the market in the industry developers are writing only business logic common logics we are providing by frameworks are you getting my point what is a framework what is a framework framework is a semi developed software which will provide some common logics required for application development what is the meaning of semi developed software ha huh. in that some logics are already available okay now so if you go to the application development here assume that i want to create one project guys i want to develop one application so this is my application in order to develop this application in order to develop this application i need one programming language what is that programming language java so by using this java language i'm going to develop my application okay so now in this application java language will be used i mean to say classes we will create methods we will create variables objects all those things are from the java only java syntaxes java rules some classes available in the java string class array list class that has set linked has set hash map there are some predefined classes available in the java by using those java classes i will develop my java application in my java application what is required some logics are required what kind of logics i am going to develop now i will develop only business logic in my application i will develop only business it can be banking application or telecom or healthcare or insurance or retail it can be anything the company specific project will be available project specific business logic will be available i am not interested to write common logics in the application when i don't want to write the common logics in the application then what i will do i will go for frameworks so there are several frameworks already available in the market there are several frameworks already available in the market what is there in the framework inside the frameworks jar file jar files will be available what will be framework means what it is also even java project framework nothing but it is a java project that java project is available in the form of jar file inside the jar file what will be available dot class files will be available inside that dot class file some logic will be available i want to insert a record in the table already the logic available in the class those classes are multiple classes available the multiple classes are packaged as a jar file that jar file is called as one framework that jar file is called as one framework so these frameworks are available in third party companies sun micro system not developed this framework this framework is developed by other companies in the market so developing a framework nothing but creating a project writing the classes writing the methods test it if it is working that project will be packaged as a jar file that jar file they are releasing into market are you getting my point 
Now, see here, if you want to work with a framework called Spring Framework, go to a website called mvnrepository.com. Here, I'm typing one name called Spring Core. When I go for the Spring Core, the version is available. When I go for the version, what is the name available here? Jar. If I click on this jar, now see here what is happened. Spring Core dot jar file is downloaded. Jar nothing but Java archive. What is there in that jar file? What is there in that jar file? Dot class files. Can we see what are the dot class files available? Yes or no? How can we check that? Java decompiler. You know compiler? Let's use decompiler. Let me check where it is available. We download it. Yeah. In the advanced Java classes, we downloaded Java decompiler. Let me go to this Java decompiler. My Java decompiler is opening. Okay. Now file, open the file. Just now I have downloaded one jar file. Go to downloads. Dot jar. Yeah. So the jar I downloaded is a spring core dot jar. Select this jar file. Open. Now, can you see what is there in this spring core jar file? Classes are available. Inside the classes, what is available? Some logic is available. IO. Okay. File system resource class. So that means framework nothing but set of classes. So I downloaded Spring Framework. Spring is not developed by Sun Microsystem. Spring is developed by other company. Other company. They developed some Java classes. Not one or two. Hundreds of classes they developed for common logic. To provide the common logic for several projects. Those are hundred classes. They packaged as one jar file. They released that jar file into market. So I'm able to download that jar file from the internet. Tell me, what is JAR? JAR stands for Java Archive. What is there in the JAR? Set of classes are available. What is there in those classes? Some logics are available. What logics are available in those classes? Common logics are available in those classes. Now, in my project, I want those common logic. So what I will do? I will download the framework JAR file. I will add it to my project. So this is what is happening in the industry. People are developing a Java project. What is the meaning of developing a Java project? We will use some classes given by Sun Micro system. System class, system.out.println, string class available, collection classes available, string buffer, string builder, string tokenizer. Okay. There are so many predefined classes available in the Java. So Java language classes we are going to use and framework classes also we are going to use. So Java classes to develop our own logics. To develop our business logic, we will use some classes given by Java language. For common logics, we will use the classes which are already developed by framework. Right? What is a framework? Framework is a Semi-developed software. What is the advantage with the frameworks? What is the advantage with the frameworks? Uh -huh. Frameworks nothing but ready-made software. Or we can say semi-developed software. Inside the framework, set of classes are available. In those classes, already logic is available. Instead of we are redeveloping the same logic, we can reuse the logic which is given by the frameworks okay now how to use the frameworks in our project by downloading the jar file and we will use that jar file in our project so project nothing but some classes here java language having some classes so here in the java some predefined classes available in the frameworks also some predefined that they developed the classes right predefined classes will be available here what we are going to do user defined classes this is called our project okay so what is the meaning of project now collection of classes what kind of classes will be available user defined classes will be available java language provided classes will be available 
framework provided classes also will be available. This is how we will develop a project in the company. So without using the frameworks, nobody will develop a project in the company. Why we don't develop a project without using framework? We need to write the common logics and we need to write the business logic which will take a lot of time. Which will, take, which will increase the timelines of the project which will increase the number of bugs in the project also. To avoid those problems, companies are using frameworks to develop a project. What is framework? Framework is a semi-developed software which is providing common logics required for the application. So what is the benefit of using the framework? They will provide the common logics. We will focus only on the business logic so that project can be completed quickly. Development can be completed quickly when you use framework to develop that project. Now, can you tell me the definition for the Spring Boot? Come on. Come on, I want answer. Spring Boot is a Java based framework. Spring Boot is a Java based framework which is used for rapid application development. Why I am calling Spring Boot is a Java based framework? Spring Boot is developed by using Java language only. And Spring Boot is a framework. What is the meaning of that? It is a semi developed software. It will provide common logics required for our application development so we are saying rapid application development why it is called rapid application development common logics already they will provide you focus only on the business logic development i hope you got the clarity what is a language what is a technology and what is a framework language provides the syntaxes and rules used to develop only standalone application so by using the language, they developed the technologies. By using technology, we can develop web application. But the problem with the technology, lot of boilerplate code we have to write. So common logics you have to write and business logics also you have to write. To overcome that problem, the people introduced frameworks concept in the market. Framework nothing but semi-developed software, which will provide common logics for you. You focus only on the business logic development. Can you tell me what is the common logics in the project? Can any examples for common logics in the project? Database connectivity, database connectivity, getting the data from the form, validating the form data, validating the form data. And so doing some sending the emails in the application. So many common logics will be available in the project. What about business logic? Specific to the project, project to project, business logic is going to be different. Bank will have some logics, telecom application will have its own logic, healthcare application will have its own logic, insurance application will have its own logic. So business logic will change from application to application. Common logic means they are used in all the applications. Good. Any questions as of now? Anybody? Especially the new people who are attending only the Spring Boot session for the first time. Is my voice speed and all okay for everyone? How many of you new to Ashok IT here? Can raise your hand? Okay. So, guys, are you okay with the flow? Do you feel it is going speed? Do you feel that going speed? Speed lag raha hai kya? Nahin, slow. Barbar repeat or I So I'm repeating the concept initially so that people can understand. In first shot, you may not get it. In second shot, you may not get. Definitely in third shot, you have to get that. After repeating three times also, if you are not getting, you have to jump from here. There is no shortcut. I can't do anything. Three times I'm repeating each and every point so that that subject will go into your brain directly. Okay, cool. Online students. Online students able to follow me?
good yeah guys initially because this is our second session only you are new to me and i am also new to you so it will take one week of time to cross our paths within one week you will be habituated to my voice and i will be habituated to your answers then we don't see any kind of problem Go, give one week of time so that we will settle down with the environment okay fine now so we are talking about the frameworks that are available in the market framework is a semi developed software which will provide some common logics required for application development now in the java there are several frameworks available guys in the java not only single framework there are several frameworks available in the market the first one is hibernet framework i hope some people hear that name hibernet framework and there was another framework called struts framework another framework called struts framework these two frameworks came into market in the year of 2003 in the year of 2003 these frameworks came into market to develop application and these two frameworks are not from sun micro system guys okay hibernate framework is from one company struts framework is from some other company struts framework given by apache hibernate framework is given by some frame, some company like jboss at that time it was a different later it is acquired by jboss company then after this after this spring framework came into market this is spring framework also came into market in the year of 2003 or 4 but initially people did not realize the importance of the spring framework the power of the spring framework people used struts framework hibernate framework to develop software applications for over a decade 7 to 10 years of time people habituated to work with the struts framework and hibernate frame even though spring is available in the market people did not use the spring framework why because spring framework came into market from a different company which is not popular in the market but struts is popular in the market because starts from apache already people are using apache tomcat server apache company well known in the market it is having a brand in the market that's the reason people started using that apache struts framework to develop the project in 2013 i got my first job as a java developer on the struts framework only in 2012 2013 also companies used struts framework only to develop the project from 2012 13 14 then struts framework started down in the market spring framework became popular in the market but actually there is one year gap for the struts and spring struts is early bird in the market in 2003 somewhere 2002 or 3 struts came into market spring just after one year only spring also came into market that to one year late it took 10 years to get the name in the market because of that one year gap because of that one year gap it took 7 to 8 years for the spring framework to become popular in the market because apache company released that struts framework people are attracted towards apache struts they started developing the project people did not even try spring they don't understand what is the power of the spring after 7 years as you told first cycle then bike then car then right so if based on our age factor the requirements are changing so from 2003 to 2010 12 people used struts then after people started searching for the alternate to simplify application development then they found spring is far better than the struts framework so from 2013 14 then people adapted to spring framework and they started developing the applications by using spring framework to attract more customers to attract more people spring people released one more concept called spring boot in the market from there onwards there is no competitor for the spring spring boot is a game changer in the market 
so till today there is no competition for the spring boot in the market got my point so hibernate framework is available stats framework is available spring framework is available so hibernate from one company starts from some other company like apache spring is from some other company okay now this is spring boot from the spring only spring boot is extension for the spring only earlier for few years people developed projects by using spring later point of time spring boot came into market with more advanced features that is one of the feature is auto configuration with that auto configuration it is changed the complete game in the market now people are using spring boot to develop our applications spring boot is a java based framework which is used for rapid application development this spring boot is developed on top of spring framework only so there are several frameworks available in the market to develop our application currently in the market hibernate is outdated struts also outdated people are using spring with the spring boot to develop the application how the application architecture will be available monolithic or microservices microservices will be available spring boot we are using to develop microservices application so this course is also spring boot with microservices development okay so tomorrow we will understand what is this hibernate struts spring and we are going to compare all these frameworks and we will decide which one is better you will understand why struts became outdated in the market what are the drawbacks with the struts what is the power of the spring what is the architecture of the spring what are the modules available in the spring what is the difference between the spring and spring boot that also we are going to learn in the tomorrow session okay so can we quickly summarize what we discussed in the today's session come on what we learnt in the today's session what is programming language and what is technology and what is framework so currently in the market people are developing the projects by using framework what is framework framework is a semi developed software which will provide common logic required for application we need to focus only on the business logic development what are the frameworks available in the java hibernate framework struts framework spring framework is available what is the extension for the spring framework the extension for the spring is spring boot currently people are using which one to develop the projects in the real time spring boot with a microservices architecture what is the meaning of microservices loosely coupled applications we are going to develop good fine any questions for offline students anybody having any question what is the tomorrow's topic spring introduction what are the frameworks available why they are outdated what is the benefit of using spring what is the architecture of the spring what are the modules available in the spring we will discuss in the tomorrow session got my point good thank you guys online students anybody having any questions please raise your hand in the zoom so that you will get option to unmute your mic thank you